So with all of these sayings, with all of this stress and talks about schools that you're supposed to attend and schools that you're not supposed to attend, you attend this school, you will not get a postgraduate work permit and all of these issues. This is the reason why I am making this video. Come on, let's talk about this, right? Okay, a lot of us, we are always applying for schools. We are applying to universities. We are applying for colleges. And now there's beginning to be a clash. But if they are eligible for postgraduate work permit or they are not eligible for postgraduate work permit. And then it came to my mind, there's something we are overlooking, right? We are overlooking this aspect of school that lots of people are not looking into and this will even pay you more than a university or a college. I'm talking about a trade school. So what's a trade school? A trade school is a special kind of school. You learn specific kind of trade. You learn about machinery, heavy equipment, you'll be taught how to drive a forklift, how to handle it, big tractors, how to handle a crane, to repair and fix engines, and lots of that. Do you know the difference between a trade school and a regular university and college that you and I go? This is the difference, okay. When you attend a university and a college, upon graduation, you would need to apply for a job see let's let's be realistic this is canada most times when you graduate from school it is not what you study that you end up working with right it's not but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead baby you get most people upon graduating from school and they studied business administration management and all of that they still end up working in walmart as an attendant right they still end up working in costco working in dollarama as a sales attendant like they still end up doing jobs like social worker all, all of those stuffs do you understand it's not professional but if you attend a trade school this is a school where you it's like an apprenticeship okay so you are actually going to learn the job and upon graduation 99 percent you are going to be employed in your field because your school is even going to recommend you so now it means that before you even graduate from school eh companies that are into heavy machineries repairs and maintenance they will come for you. You don't have to go look for a job. In the trade school, the jobs come to look for you, right? These employers will come to look for you. So it means you are going to get employed, guaranteed, 100% even before you graduate. Most people will say, ah, this one they are mentioning machinery, tractors, carpenter, uh, crane, uh, welder and uh, organizer and all of those things it's only for men no in as much as it's for men this job is also for women meaning whether you are a male or you're a female you can still work in this field you can still study in this school and the both of you whether you are a man or a woman you still are going to earn the same salary irrespective of the fact that you are in the truck driving that big tractor or you are in charge of lifting the fuck lifting machine or the crane and then the lady is in the office doing her own part of her job all of you are going to earn the same salary okay now you say what would a woman do right like will a woman be lifting the heavy duty machines or repair or maintenance so where the women come in is the buying of parts okay so for this part of buying of parts it's actually an office job okay where it is the duty of the lady or it is the duty of the woman who graduated from the trade school or who is in trade school so her job will be to buy the parts that is required in a machine to be fixed so you see that there's nothing much there it's just for you to go and buy that parts 
and you just generally stay in your office this is so smooth and super easy and for doing nothing for just buying parts you end up being paid about 60 to 70 dollar per hour so because you will be dealing with buying the parts that is why you need to go to the trade school right so there's no way you will go to a trade school and you don't know the parts if you want to be a part specialist for the woman so while you are in school put your head to the ground so that you can know all of the parts and you can be able to get that job even before you graduate remember that while you are in school you'll still be working but we'll come over to that section so why the women are doing or the females are doing uh the parts uh buying of parts by being a part specialist for the men it could be anything you can be into carpentry uh you can be a welder you can be a mechanic you can be a crane uh, crane operator you can be a forklifter you can be a pipeline technician you can be a plumber construction bulldozer driver and more guys there are lots of positions here for you so with all of these positions you can also work as repairs as maintainers in the trade school it's so nice to know that you work and study right so you work and study in your own field like unlike in the colleges and in the universities where you are schooling one thing and you're working another thing here in the trade school you work and study in your own field so basically you are working and schooling as an apprentice because you are learning the job and at the same time all that you are learning you are putting it into practice so it means you deserve to be paid okay so in your first year you get to be paid about 36 dollar per hour in your second year you get an increase and you start earning about forty dollar per hour in your third year you get an increase you might start earning about 46 to 49 dollar per hour in your third year and then in your fourth year oh my goodness you might be earning up to 60 dollar per hour and then you might need to go for your journeyman which is to show the completion of your course program and at that you will end up earning a minimum of 70 dollar per hour did you hear me right 70 dollar per hour guys this is great like let's look at this so guys we need to look at this guys do you know that as a u-haul truck driver you can earn up to 200 thousand canadian dollars in a year yes 200,000 Canadian dollars and for you to be that perfect you haul truck driver you need to go to a trade school you actually know what is 200,000 do you know that if you want to build your own duplex to taste the same way you want it your own dream house do you know that with 250,000 Canadian dollars your dreams can come true like you can build your own house with $250,000. So if you earn $200 in a year, it means within two years, you can get fleets of cars parked in your mansion, right? With just two years salary. Come on guys, this is great. Like this is awesome. Okay, so now I know the next thing you'll be saying, okay, what about getting your PR and all of that or postgraduate work permit? See, for the trade school, they have their own pathway. Do not automatically, when you graduate from the trade school, your CRS score automatically, no do, no do, 300, you are already qualified for express entry. I think there's no way they will pick a draw that you will not, they give priority because they have a specific quota all right they have a quota that has been mapped out for people for trade school come think about it the government of canada is very they are like they are very smart right they believe that the people in the trade school are really helping out in bringing about the betterment of the country like helping out in the infrastructures building constructing as a result to pay back to give back to them they brought out a specific quota number of people say okay when we are giving PR to people we are going to start with these ones 
okay and these ones are the ones that are in trade school and so they have made their crs score as low as 300. so once you graduate automatically 300 you're chosen it's a direct pr path it is more direct than the university it is more direct than the college like this is guaranteed so for me that went to university or for you that went to college it might range for about 480 to 500 but trade school with 300 piao you are good to go like guarantee it's a guaranteed pathway so let's not let this change in laws of the uh, canadian government about international students you cannot go for postgraduate work permit this and this and it do not let it bother you do not let you weigh you down instead redirect your thinking it mustn't be a college it mustn't be a university now i'm bringing to your knowledge it's called trade school most of us don't know and now we know about it so let me tell us a comment in the comment section if there's anything you are not clear about in this video let me know in the comment section i'm going to answer all of your questions so remember to give this video a thumbs up sign like subscribe and share okay i'll see you in upcoming videos and take good care of yourself remember you can do all things through christ that strengthens you take good care and bye bye